Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5-Minute Focus, episode 755, Pressure. Here's some David Bowie, a little Freddie Mercury, Pressure. Alright, tell you, don't supplant Maslow. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is an important study that you got to have one before you can move on to the next. Your physiological needs are first and foremost, you need air, water, food, shelter, warmth. You need those things to survive, just to live. And then safety and security, you've got to have that. That's next, right after physiological needs. You have to feel safe. You have to be secure when you're living day to day. It makes for a real hard life if you can't feel safe, you can't feel secure, and you can't move forward into any of the other levels. <clears throat> so the pressure is first and foremost to live. So sometimes you have to do what you have to do in order to buy groceries, in order to pay your mortgage, in order to pay the electric bill, because you got to have heat, you got to have electricity. People race right to the uh, self-esteem level before they can have those other things solidified. You need to have your physiological needs solidified. You need to have your safety and security solidified. And then love and belonging comes before self-esteem. People think they're getting love and belonging from that self-esteem, from their posts on social media, from their books and their feedback. You think, hey, I'm getting this. Oh, I, I feel great. Look at my self-esteem. <clears throat> because you feel loved. You feel like you belong to a group. But you've got to get there first from the bottom up. You can't get there from the top down. You can't uh, have self-actualization where you're sitting like Buddha on the top of a mountain looking out over the universe and thinking all is well when you haven't paid your mortgage, you've got no home to go to, and you have no food in the refrigerator. You've got to have that stuff first before you can move forward. <clears throat> the pressure is to live in the presence of others. That's the safety and security live safely before you can start to realize your own self when you're writing you've got to have these other things solidified to some degree before you can reach that self-esteem and then self-actualization where you're comfortable with what you write you're happy regardless of feedback it's giving you what you need for your personal well-being <clears throat> You have to maintain that solid foundation. And I can't emphasize this enough. A lot of people race straight to that self-esteem level. They're, they're, they're looking for that feedback and that uh, external validation when you've got to have the internal support first. And you cannot do anything else if the pressure to live is too much. You've got to satisfy those first things. A place, a, a place to stay, food to eat, water to drink. <clears throat> Too many people get uh, worried about that. Oh, I've got to get this next book out because all of this stuff way up here, that will help this stuff down here. It could. It could. But first, you got to have that foundation. So that's a hard thing to do. I didn't start writing until I was 52 years old when I had a very sound foundation. I had the safety and security. I had love and belonging without any of the other stuff. It took a lot of the pressure to write a great book off me, which allowed me then to write great books. I, I like to think they're great books. My readers have sold over a million copies, so I'm, I'm comfortable and sound self-actualization, right? I have reached a point where I, I like what I write. The readers like what I write. Life is good. <clears throat> but you had to have all that other stuff into place first, 52 years old. It took me that long to make sure everything was set below me before I could step higher. So maintain that solid foundation. And that foundation will carry a lot of that load that you feel in the pressure. That's younger, younger authors, authors who have had a serious change in life circumstances. They're going to feel that pressure because they've got to perform up here where self-actualization is, but to, to provide this other stuff to provide a home and the safety and security to move forward with anything else. If you don't have safety and security, if you don't have a home, if you don't have food, you got a lot of problems that aren't going to be solved by writing a great book. Got to have that stuff first. <clears throat> and yes, there's some great stories of people who have gone from being homeless to having a home and other stuff because they were able to write that book. 
kudos to them. They're unicorns because that's that's hard to do. That's really, really hard. That's a lot of pressure, and they are hardcore getting through it. There's a less pressure if you let that foundation of your life support some of it for you. All right. Hopefully that helps because there's a lot of people out there really straining, really stressing over writing that great book. It's because you're leapfrogging some of the steps. Maybe maybe it's not your time yet. And that day job, okay, commit a little more to that day job. Get get a promotion, and that buys you some more free time and some more stability on your foundation in which then you can write. I've some great stories about people who have uh, been promoted took the job, and then all of a sudden, six months later, they're like, it's good because the pressure of that foundation, it supported some of it. They were able to write better books, and they were able to launch into a full-time author career, which is what they wanted at the start. It just took them a while. Patience, build a strong foundation, move up. Peace, fellow humans.